Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Very good. Is it raining there in your house? Oh, yes. It's, it's raining? It's rain. <laughs> uh, ah, yeah. okay. Okay, let's wait one minute for our, our friends. Okay. Teacher, lo puedo molestar. Sí. Creí que yo me acuerdo que la vez pasada usted compartió un link en el que nosotros podíamos este, ejercitar un poquito la gramática. Creo que era, era una página para, para de ejercicio, ¿verdad? Creo que me la, me, no la puede volver a compartir, que no, 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 no la encuentro. Sí, yo, yo normalmente sí encuentro algunas páginas en línea y se las mando, pero yo voy por tema. ¿No te acordás qué tema era? Era para el de, si mal no recuerdo, fue para el de, para el de Gerunds, Gerunds and Infinity, ese okay. era. Pero no sé si me puede mandar uno para este último que estábamos viendo, el de, el de, el de, la, el de la request. Fíjate que no he encontrado para, ah, este, okay. para este ejercicio específico. Para Gerunds oh. and Infinity sí hay varios. Pero sí, para sí, sí. este específico, eh, lo, que puede, lo que puedes hacer aquí mejor es tratar de, de encajar tus propios ejemplos. Ok. Eh, ya, ya vamos a hacer eso. Ok, good evening everybody. Uh, welcome to the class. Uh, we're going to continue. But first I want to know if... Uh, let me see. Voy a escribir una pregunta aquí en el chat. Question number one. Where are you? in the platform. Hmm? Where are you in the platform? Uh, that's question number one. Question number two. Did you finish the midterm exam? Yeah? Give me your answers there on the chat. Number one, where are you in the platform? Number two, did you finish the midterm exam? Para ver si... Ahorita estamos en las 3.8, pero me gustaría terminar ahora, pero quiero ver dónde están. Terminar la sección 3 ahora. Tell me, escríbanme en el chat. Tell me in the chat, escriban su respuesta. Tell me. Okay, very good, Alex. Very good. Okay. Next, another person. Another person, ahí. Okay, okay, very good. 3.9, ahí vamos ahorita. 3.4, okay, very good. Okay, very good. Uh, did you finish the midterm? No, Abner. Okay. ¿Y dónde está en la plataforma, Abner? 3.2. Okay, very good. Uh, very good. Okay. Let's go to the, the lesson that we were uh, that we were doing. ¿Quién se conectó el, el jueves? ¿Quién estuvo el jueves? Yeah. 
George, ¿tú estabas aquí el jueves? Javier. Yes. Ok, very good. Entonces practicaste tú esta lección el jueves. Javier, ¿tú estabas aquí el jueves? Yes, I was. Ok, I was. very good. Yo me acuerdo que Sara estaba allí. Omar estaba. Alex estaba también. Eh, Alejandra, no me acuerdo si estabas. Carlos, I don't remember. Estaban el, el jueves. No. Ok. All right, very good. So, algunos estaban, la mayoría creo que sí estaban. Ok, so you remember the exercise that we did. Ok. So, for this exercise here, se llama indirect request. Indirect request. Ok. So, ya vamos a ir para allí. But I have an example here of a conversation that we're going to do. So, um, Let's say, Alejandra, you're going to be the receptionist. Okay. okay. Uh, Carlos, you're going to be B. B. Carlos, ¿estás ahí? Yes. Okay, very good. Tú vas a ser B. And uh, okay. Alex, tú vas a ser C. Solo tienes una línea. But you're going to do it, okay? All right, very good. You're ready, Alejandra? Yes. Um, thank you for calling a star line. My name is Rose. How can I help you? Yes, is Tony available? I'm sorry, Tony is not is not in the office at this time. Can I take a message? Yes. Could you tell Tony that his order from Amazon has been approved? I will be glad to. I will make sure that he gets the message. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, very good. One hour later. Hello, Tony. Good morning, Rose. Is there any message for me? Yes, Mike called and said that your order from Amazon has been approved. Very good. Do you see what happened in this conversation? Es algo que pasa todos los días in the office, right? It's something that, that, that is going to happen if you're working, if, you, if you're using your English for work, you're going to have to take a message and then give that information to another person, okay? So, uh, Mike called, he wanted to speak to Tony. Tony was not there, so Alejandra was the receptionist. She was the person receiving the message and giving the message. Okay? Eh, no era para ella el mensaje. ¿Verdad? Era para Tony. Okay? Very good. So, do you see this example here? Um, Alej the message. Uh, ¿Cuál es el mensaje? Could you tell Tony that his order from Amazon has been approved? Okay, now, aquí hay varios pronombres que hay que tener cuidado. Could you tell? ¿Con quién está hablando aquí? ¿Quién es el you? Hello? ¿Quién sería el you? Receptionist. ¿Ah? Receptionist. 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 Very good, yeah. Receptionist, you. That's uh, Alejandra, right? Can you tell Tony, Tony es la tercera persona, right? No está. That his, his order, ¿quién está hablando aquí? His, Tony, right? Es Tony, un posesivo. Tony. Very good. Aquí hay un posesivo. So, we have you, Tony, his. Very good. So, be careful with that. Now, van a ver cómo cambian cuando Alejandra va a dar ese mensaje. Yes, uh, viene Tony, eh, Tony, hello, Tony. Good morning, Rose. Is there any messages for me? Yes, Mike called. Okay, now, quiero que vean esto. Past. Simple past. Yeah. Que ya pasó, ¿verdad? And said, past. Past. That your order from Amazon, aquí el U is Mike. Eh, perdón, Tony, 
that your order from Amazon has been approved, okay? So the aquí, uh, y aquí voy a usar simplemente la oración que usó Mike. Y simplemente la voy a poner aquí. Okay. So lo único que cambia es, can you tell? Can you tell, Tony? All right. Y el mensaje que voy a dar, it's right there. Okay, so basically, que lo que hicimos el Thursday, what we did Thursday was practice something like this. I gave you different messages and I told you to convert the messages. So, aquí está el cuadrito que trabajamos. El, sí, este fue la primera parte. Um, lo voy a poner solo en una página, si me permite. Okay, very good. So, here's the, the, the exercise that we were working. Um, I gave you the statement, okay? Y esto está en, en base a la 3.8, a la lección de 3.8 en, en la plataforma. Um, I gave you a statement, an imperative, a yes or no question, and a WH question. So hay cuatro tipos de, de estructuras que tenemos que ver, que tenemos que convertir prácticamente. Okay, number one, statements. Statements are just something positive, something, uh, I will be late to the meeting. His car is not ready. His package has been delivered to his home. Simplemente un statement, okay? Now, an imperative is when I give an instruction to someone. For example, don't forget to pick up some eggs and milk. Or, cuando le, le voy a dar una instrucción, un, como un mandato a alguien. Give me a call as soon as possible. Or, you can say maybe, Send me the contract as soon as you can. Le estoy diciendo a alguien que haga algo imperative. Uh, the next type of structure that we had, we had yes or no questions. For example, is he going to the party? Did he get my email? Did he review the contract? So that has some yes or no questions, right? And WH questions, when is he leaving back to Paris? Where is the meeting going to be held? What time is the sales training? Okay. So, ¿qué hicimos el jueves? Es convertir este, como si yo estuviera tomando este mensaje. Y, y yo estaría como dando este mensaje, perdón. Como si yo estaría, estuviera dando este mensaje a la receptionist. Eso es lo que hicimos. Okay. So, let's see. ¿Se acuerdan? Ah, pero antes de eso, quiero, quiero ver. Aquí está el cuadrito que está en, el, en la lección. Eh, este mismo cuadrito lo usan para tres lecciones en la sección 3, las últimas tres lecciones. So, for example, here you say, Tony is having a party. Could you tell Jeff? that Tony is having a party. Okay. Now, for example, aquí yo llamo, yo llamo buscando a Jeff. Jeff no está. Y voy a dejar este mensaje con el, con el receptionist. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Very good. Imperative, don't be late. Can you tell Jeff not to be late? Yes or no question. Are you free on Friday? Can you ask? Ah, ahora tengo que poner ask. ¿Por qué? Porque es una pregunta. Can you ask Sofia if she's free on Friday? Yes or no question. Do you have my number? Could you ask her whether or not she has my number? Or you can say, can you ask her if she has my number? Entonces, el, el uso de yes or no questions normalmente va con if, con la clause. Yes or uh, WH questions. When does the party start? Can you ask Jeff when the party starts? So simplemente uso toda la pregunta de WH 
y solo voy a poner en el principio, can you ask? Can you ask? Now, do you see here can and could? What is the difference with can and could? Recuerden? Do you remember what the difference is? Cuando uso can, cuando uso could. Cool is uh, when you don't have uh, mm, mm, you have less respect, I guess. Mm -hmm. You want to be polite. Like that, uh, something want, like that. If you want to be polite, you have to use could. If you want to be more formal, you can use could. Entonces, could sería para situaciones más formales. Okay, very good. So, let's say, en base en esto, ya hablé yo mucho. You give me an example now. I will be late to the meeting. Okay. Y vamos a usar um, a la persona Tony. Vamos a usar el nombre Tony. Okay. So, what would you say to the receptionist? You want to give this message to Tony, but Tony's not in the office. What would you say to the to the receptionist? Could you say, Tony, that I will be late to the meeting? Yes, very good. Uh -huh, correct. Solamente que, do you see here the example? En vez de usar say, usan tell. Okay. We're going to use tell, okay? Ahí hay una regla por qué se usa tell, solo que ahorita no, no te lo voy a explicar. <laughs> te lo explico después. Tell. We're going to use tell, okay? Very good. So, um, el que no sé quién me dio ese último ejemplo, so just give it to me again. Just put tell. Hmm? Could you tell Tony that I will be late to the meeting? Very good. Very good. Excellent. Vamos a brincar al imperative. Solo para, quiero que ustedes llenen esto, pero we're going to do it here. Uh, imperative. Don't forget to pick up some eggs and milk. Hmm? How would you say it? Este es el mensaje que quiero decirle a Tony. But Tony is not in the office. I'm going to give this message to the receptionist. Could you, could you tell Tony that please don't forget to pick up some eggs and milk? Okay. Not to forget. To pick Not up to. Okay. some eggs and milk, right? Tal vez la, la esposa le llama y quiere decirle eso, right? All right. Very good. Yes or no questions? I want I, the same thing, Tony, right? We're trying to call Tony. He's not in the office. I want to give a message, leave a message with the receptionist. Could you ask Tony, is he going to the party? Very good. Y, y aquí voy a usar ask, ¿verdad? Could you ask Tony if he is going to the party? You also ask, very good. And also I use if. Es más fácil usar if. All right, excellent, good job. WH question? Could you ask whether, whether. What is the, pronunci the pronunciation of, of weather? Weather, weather. Weather, ajá, como, weather. como clima. <laughs> como el clima, weather. Okay, uh, uh, could you ask uh, Tony uh, whether or not is leaving back to Paris? Mm, solo que aquí voy a usar la misma WH question. Okay? Oh, okay. Could you ask Tony when is he leaving to back to Paris? All right. Very good. Okay, you pregunta al final, right? Because this is a question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Le estoy le estoy diciendo a ella que si le puede preguntar. Okay. Very good. No le estoy diciendo, mire, pregúntele. No, le puede preguntar. 
could you ask Tony? All right, very good. So this is basically what we did. Okay, so let's let's take some minute. Yo sé, yo sé que algunos ya lo hicieron, okay? But uh, I'm going to divide you in groups. Let's let's take only uh, 10 minutes to do this activity. Let's try to fill out this this chart that's here. Okay. Very good. Después les voy a dar otro. Bueno, prácticamente después ustedes van a llenar uno con statements y con indirect requests. Después ustedes van a llenar uno completo sin, sin la ayuda mía. All right, very good. Let's go to groups. And we're going to work on that same chart. Okay. Um, Le voy a mandar ese cuadrito en WhatsApp so that you can see it. Eh, Ricardo, eh, can you accept the request, please? Acepte la invitación para ir al grupo. Uh, three of each one. And if you want, Rosie Bell, you can do the first. Or Alex, or me. You can choose. Now, eh, para, porque algunos ya lo hicieron. Eh, si quieren solo practíquenlo hablándolo no tienen que escribir ¿Sí? ok ok very good so uh, in whatsapp ahí puse el cuadro now what you can do is practice speaking only no tienen que escribir nada ok, okay. miren el cuadro ¿Cómo dejarían ese mensaje? You want to speak to Tony. That's the message you want to give to Tony, but Tony is not there. You're going to leave a message with the receptions. So practice uh, speaking. You don't have to write. Yes. Next one. And I say, could you tell Eric that his package has been delivered to, the, to his home? Okay. Next one says, could you tell Alex not to forget to not to forget to pick up some eggs and milk? Okay. Uh, next one, let's say, could you tell could you tell Eric? Uh, that give me a uh, if he can give me a call as soon as possible. Okay. Um. Oh. Next one. Okay. Could you tell I uh, Eric the? Could you tell Eric is to send me? The, the contract as soon as he can. Okay. The next one would be, could you ask Javier if he is going to the party? Okay. Could, uh, next one. Could you could you ask Eric if he did if he did get my email? Okay. 
Uh, you can say there if he got my email. Oh, he got. Okay. Okay. Could you could you ask Eric whether or not he reviewed reviewed with the yeah reviewed the contract? Contract. Okay, the next one. Could you ask Javier when he is leaving back to Paris? Okay, next one. Um, could you ask Eric where is the meeting going to be to be held? Okay, could you ask, could you ask Eric, what time the silence training is, I think. Okay. That was the last one, right? Yes. Ok, very good. So, eh, manteniendo aquí en estos mismos grupos, what you can do next, the next exercise is, yo puse otro cuadrito in WhatsApp. Eh, basically, what I want you to do is, I want you to do the statement and the direct request. The statement and, and, and the request. Así como yo hice. Solamente que ahora ustedes van a hacer el request. Now, now you can do it. Now, hay otro cuadrito que es la foto de la lección del video. Y si quieren, pueden hacerlo igual, solo cambiar algunas palabras ahí, según los ejemplos que el video da. ¿Ok? If uh, one person wants to share, si so, alguien quiere escribir ahí, and maybe share the computer, and then others can, can see. Not forget to pick up some eggs and milk. Okay, so the, the, second one. the second is, can you hey, tell? Alex, hold on. Eh, solamente que le, les puse este mismo cuadro, solamente sin, la, sin las eh, respuestas que yo les he dado ahí, para que ustedes puedan trabajar los statements y los direct requests. Los statements y los requests. So hay otro para que ustedes lo puedan trabajar. Es decir, hacer lo mismo que yo hice, solo sin copiar mis, mis statements. Ok. Uh, ok. All right, excellent. When you're finished with that, you can, you can work on the other. Okay, so uh, you, this teacher. one will be like, can you? Hello? Hello? Hi. Okay, very good. So, ya practicaron con el cuadrito? Yes. Ok. All right. Hay otro que está vacío. Eh, lo que van a hacer simplemente ahora es ponerle su statement y su direct request. Uh, pueden, uh, hay una, una guía allí que es el, la foto del video, de la explicación del video. Pueden también usar y, y practicar con esa, tal vez solo cambiarles algunas palabras. So, prácticamente van a, van a hacer un cuadro completo, pero eh, van a, lo van a llenar todo completo, ¿verdad? Los statements y los requests. Si alguien quiere compartir su pantalla y así nosotros le pueden ayudar y el, el, la persona puede escribir. Así para que todos estén en una sola hoja. ¿Ok? Ok. 
Okay, let's go. If you have any questions, tell me, okay? Okay. And the example will be, could you ask? Uh, ask or tell? Uh, or could you tell? Could you tell? tell? Yes. Could you mm -hmm. tell Eric if he's finished his homework? Mm -hmm. Solo question. tenga cuidado con una cosa. Eric finished his homework. Ese es el mensaje. Pero Eric no está allí. Por eso voy a dejar este mensaje. Y voy a dejar este mensaje con la receptionist. Eric finished then his homework. Could you, could you ask if he is finished his homework? Mm, um, sí, solo que could... ask está en la categoría de pregunta. No sé si están ahorita en la, mm. en la statements. Yes, okay. Would you tell Javier that Eric finished it. his homework? Ajá, ajá, exacto. Entonces aquí hay varias personas. Sí, sí, está sí. yo hablando, Eric, and then Javier, el que va a recibir el mensaje. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. This is, this is why it's difficult, porque hay varias personas, right? This is why it's a yeah. little difficult. But once you get, you can do it, you practice it, no problem. All right, very good. Good job. Could you ask Jeff when he leaving back to Paris, to Paris is? I remember that the auxiliary is in the end, but I am not sure. Okay, here's the teacher. Teacher, we have a little bit dub with the, WH questions mm -hmm. with with the um, uh, with the one that you send us. The first is when is when is he leaving back to Paris? So mm -hmm. the the answer the the answer will be. Um, can you ask Tony when is he leaving back to Paris? It is that correct? You can say that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Eh, ¿Se entiende? Uh -huh. If you see leaving back to Paris, ¿pueden, ¿pueden dejar fuera la palabra back? When is he leaving to Paris? Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Sí, yo sé que en la lección muestra cómo hacer un cambio cuando es, está tercera persona. Sí. Okay. okay. Y si estás hablando en el, en el simple present, then you have to use the simple present rule. You have to put an S on the verb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, teacher, because I remember that the auxiliary is, a, is at the end, the question, because we, are, we have two questions and one question. Mm, sí, solo que en esta WH question here, the example that I'm doing, está un poquito más fácil porque no estoy usando auxiliary verb. En, en, la, en, en yes or no questions, ahí sí tienes auxiliary verb. Did. But okay. for WH questions, I don't have auxiliary, auxiliary verb. Um, sí, el, el ejemplo de auxiliary verb sería, when does he leave? back to Paris. Ahí, okay. ahí sería otro. Pero no use does. Okay. No. Okay. Okay, now, eh, lo que van a hacer después es hacer su propio cuadro. Eh, ahora ustedes van a escribir los statements y también van a dar la, el direct, el request. Uh, so, okay. uh, prácticamente lo que yo hice solo que ustedes ahora lo van a completar todo ustedes so um, maybe if someone has a computer maybe they can share the computer y, y pueden ver cómo escribe la otra persona so maybe ok I, I am with a computer I'm going to share the screen oh my God. My case, I'm using my, my, my smartphone. 
Okay, I'm sharing the, the screen. Can you see? Can, can you see it? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, ahí tenés que hacer eh, un cuadrito de, de 12 líneas and divide it in two. Okay. Siempre en, en Como Word. Cannot. You can use Word or Excel or whatever. I think Word is easier. Okay. okay. First, you need us to have statements, right? Yeah, statements. Yeah. So, hey, you. You can look at my example if you want. Yo, I keep, se me olvidó que puse. Um, the first one is, I will be late to the meeting. Ah, okay, very good. We'll be late to the meeting. Uh -huh. Do you want to start, Alexis, or? Seven? Okay, a statement, my first one, and maybe, uh, oh my God. Uh, Tony, oh, okay. Tony is going to have a lot of a lot of food added to the party. Okay. Is going to bring. Solo que remember, tú vas a llamar a la oficina. Tony no va a estar ahí. Y vas a dejar un mensaje para Tony, no de Tony. You remember? Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Entonces, solo cambia el nombre allí, en vez de Tony, pone el nombre de otro compañero. Ricardo. Okay. Look. He's going to bring a lot of food. Ricardo, a lot of food to the mm -hmm. party. Very good. Now you call the office and, and Tony's not there but you want to leave that message for Tony. Okay. Okay. Could you tell, could you tell Tony? Mm -hmm. uh, no, could you tell Tony? Could you, could you tell Tony? Y aquí viene el uso de that, es opcional, pero... Could you can you, you tell can you, you tell Ricardo? No. No, no, porque Ricardo no está llamando a Ricardo. El mensaje no es para Ricardo. El mensaje es para Tony. Ah, okay. Can you tell Pero, Tony that Ricardo is going to bring a lot of food to the party? Yes, ahí está. Perfect. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Very good, good job. The marker. Yes? Don't forget, go to the marker. Can you tell Ivan, not forget, go to market? Not Thank to you. forget. Not to forget. To Ajá, pero ponerle el not negativo primero, not to forget, ajá, correct. Yes, yes. not. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to digest and no questions. Okay. Don't be shy <laughs> and don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> okay, okay, yes, no question. We remember that we can use if and whether. Okay. I'm going to say, don't forget that we are going to go to the cinema. Mm -hmm. Solo que tiene que ser pregunta. So. I'm going to say, are you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to do. Okay. Is can she... you say, can you ask Michelle if she's going to the movies? Okay. Okay. So, el yes or no. A statement que ustedes escribieron allí. Are you going to the movies? 
Are you going to the movies? Ajá. Ese sería lo que escribe. Si están llenando el cuadrito, entonces eso es lo que va en la parte de yes or no question. Are you going to the movie? And then, for the message, can you ask you... Tony if he's going to the movies? Ah, okay. Okay, okay. The next. The next one, uh, did the teacher get my homework? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and... Wash the dishes. Okay, very good. Solo que eh, no, no hay pregunta al final, but can you tell? Ah, sí, sí. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. The next ones can have to be yes or no questions. You can begin, podemos comenzar con are you or is he, eh, do, do you, did you. Aquí es el, lo que tú quieres decirle al uh, Tony, for example. Maybe you want to ask Tony, did he receive your email? Did you receive my email? Ah, okay, very good. Maria, do you have my book? Can you tell Maria if she... Yeah, aquí vamos a usar el simple present, right? Yes, he has. In this case, you can use fill or ask. Same. Um, here for... No, you have to ask. Can you, uh, ask. For the questions, for yes or no question and WH question, ask. Eh, ask. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. She wa uh, another example could be, she want to go to the beach, the, the beach. Do you want to go to the beach? Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me a name, please. <laughs> Tony, uh, do you want to go to the beach? <laughs> I'm going to use Tony. Tony again. <laughs> go to the beach. Okay. Can you ask Tony if he wants. <laughs> he want if if he wants go to the beach. If he wants to go to the beach. What? Um, without two uh, the um ah, after right. ones ah uh, okay without no, without two. If he wants, go to the beach, I think. I okay, think you have to use the two. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Next one. Jorge, do you see my keys? Do you see my what? Keys. Llaves. Uh, Have you seen my keys? Can you ask Jorge if he sees my keys? Mm. 
Okay, very good. Uh, no se preocupen if, if, uh, if you didn't finish, don't worry, okay? The, the important thing is that you practice, right? That you can do it, that you, that you can practice. If you want to do it for homework, you can do the, pueden hacer el cuadrito así in Word, okay? Send it to me and I will check it. Yo lo reviso personalmente, I will check it, okay? If you want to do it for, uh, for homework. Okay, very good. I'm going to give you a video, a five minute video, that basically uh, is the three lessons in one. Section three tiene tres lecciones al final, ¿verdad? Este ejercicio que hicieron en realidad incorpora las tres lecciones ya en el, en el mismo ejercicio. Por eso lo puse todo junto. All right, so I'm going to give you, a, let, me, let me show you a video so that, that you can watch um, explaining the different uses of uh, direct speech, uh, pardon, indirect request. This video contains grammar lesson for the movie course Midnight in Paris. Ines thought that her earrings were stolen by the waitress and she called the hotel receptionist to report the theft. She said, I'd love to report a theft. Could you call the house detective? Send him up. Thank you. That's right. Today, I'm going to be talking about making requests. We may make direct or indirect requests in English, depending on the situation. We can use modals if clauses and gerunds to make direct requests. Have a look at these examples. Can I borrow your camera? Could you lend me your camera? Is it okay if I use your camera? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrowed your car? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? I wonder if I could ask you for a favor. I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your car. As you can see in these examples, we can make requests with if clauses and the present tense. Is it okay if I use? Do you mind if I use? Please note that if you use would and if clause to make a request, then you should use the past tense. Would it be okay if I picked? Would you mind if I borrowed? Remember, if you use would and mind, but without if clause, then you should use a gerund. Would you mind letting me? You can also use if clause and a modal. I wonder if I could. I was wondering if you'd mind lending me. Now let's talk about indirect requests. 
You may want to tell someone some information. Look at the example. The party starts at 9. Can you tell Jeff that the party starts at 9? So here, you're simply asking someone to tell Jeff some information. You may also want to tell someone to do or not to do something. Have a look at the example. Clean up your room. Could you tell Sam to clean up his room? So as you see, when you want to tell someone to do something, you should use the infinitive. Could you tell Sam to clean up? Have a look at the next example. Don't be late. Can you tell Nick not to be late? So, when you want to tell someone not to do something, you should use not plus infinitive. Tell Nick not to be late. You may also want to ask someone for some information. If it's a yes-no question, you should use if or whether. Did you do your homework? Could you ask them if they did the homework? So in this situation, you're simply using the embedded question structure. Sometimes you want to ask someone for some information, but the question is an open-ended one. When can I call him? Could you ask Pat when I can call him? Again, you should use the embedded question structure. That's all for today. Thank you for learning English with www.clickenglishschool.com. Okay. Okay, very good. Um, did you see that video al final? Están las las cuatro estructuras que hicimos. Imperative. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Statements, imperative, yes or no questions, and WH questions. It's right there, okay? So I'm going to send you that video in WhatsApp if you want to watch it again, okay? Um, I have five minutes. Les quiero enseñar una lección, un, eh, un recurso, okay? Uh, how many people want to practice pronunciation? Hmm? I want to practice. Okay. Very good. Eh, ya a este nivel deberían ya ustedes estar como afinando la pronunciación. Um, for basic English, pronunciation is not important, right? But as you grow in your English, you want to practice pronunciation. Uh, the music of the language, right? Remember, estábamos hablando de the, the music of the language. So, let me show you a, a resource. I want to show you a resource that you can go to, okay? So, anoten esta página, se llama Sound, Sounds American. Sounds American. So here in this uh, channel, you can go, you can click in the channel, and you can go to videos or playlists. Now, estos símbolos que ven se llama el um, phonetic, the International Phonetic Alphabet, okay? Simplemente son símbolos para hacer ciertos sonidos, okay? So don't worry too much on the symbols. You don't have to memorize the symbols. What you have to practice is the, the sounds, simplemente Como se llama el canal? Sounds American. So you want to practice the sounds American. Okay? So let me see. Um, creo que hay una lección, un, un, uh, un playlist here. For this one, this one's called Pronunciation of R Colored Sounds. So all the R's. There's like five different R sounds in English. Okay? So um, let's see. No sé dónde donde empezar porque no sé si están en orden. Uh, but let's see. Uh, okay. Let's say for example here. Uh, you can start with a video like this. 
It's going to give you the R sounds. Let's uh, start with a question. What are the R colored vowel sounds? Here's a definition from Sounds American. In American English, any time... So, no lo voy a poner ahorita, porque solo, solo nos quedan dos minutos. But I want to give you this resource, okay? This is a very, very good channel, okay? Mucha gente, si se lo doy a alguien de básico, no lo va a entender. <laughs> Van a estar como, ¿qué es teacher? Esto no lo entiendo, okay? Now, don't focus too much on the alpha, on the, on the symbols. Don't worry about the symbols. Si quieren aprender un poquito más de los symbols, you can go to International Phonetic Alphabet of English, okay? And you can go and you can look at the sounds. What I like to focus on is the sounds. So if you pick one a day, just watch one video a day. Y cada video tiene a practice. So you repeat, you listen, you repeat. Also, te enseñan cómo posicionar tus labios, la lengua, la, la, todo. Cómo posicionar tu, tu boca so that you can sound. The, you can make the correct sound, okay? And that's that's very important. All right, very good. So, le, le dejo este recurso, Sound American. I think I can copy this and give it to you, okay? So, uh, definitely, definitely. Practice, practice this. Creo que eso lo va a llevar al channel, all right? All right, questions? Do you have any questions? No so, questions. Uh, you should be right now in um, el section three. Prácticamente con este ejercicio que hicimos ya incorporamos 3.8, 3.9, 3.12. So tomorrow we can go to section four. Okay. All right. Very good then. Um, I will see you tomorrow then. Okay. Okay. Night, night. And sleep day, everybody. Okay. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, All right. Everybody. Excellent. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.